Hey guys, welcome back to yet another video. So in this video, well, here we have this Samsung Galaxy S8 with this nice Alcantara case. That feels so nice. Huh? As you can see here, I think Android One UI 1.0 with Android 9. As you can see, here, the big difference here, One UI 1.0. And this is 5.1.1. I mean, there is One UI 6, but One UI 6 is not available for this original Z Flip, right? In this video, we're gonna downgrade this phone back from Android 9, all right? It's latest update, which is April 1st, 2021 security patch, Android 9 1.0 One UI, back to Android 8.0. Samsung Experience 9. This is the same method that we're gonna use like on the S7 Edge video. And in this video, I'm gonna show you guys the way on how to do it from complete stock. And we're gonna try to downgrade this thing back to Android 8.0. For what? For performance and nostalgic purposes. Let's go to the video. We're gonna first unlock the phone's bootloader here. Right? So what you're gonna do now is go to settings. We're gonna go ahead and go to about. We're gonna hit on the software information right there. We're gonna go ahead and find build number. All right, when we find build number, we're gonna type it a couple of times. Three, two, one, enter your pin or a pattern. Now scroll down, we're gonna go to developer options. And you can see there, Oom Unlock is currently off. So let's do the seal the deal here and turn on Oom Unlock for this phone. Turn on Oom Unlock. Okay guys, here we are at our Windows computer here, Windows 11, Windows 10 doesn't really matter it will work unfortunately for mac users there's nothing for you guys yet at the moment all right so the first thing that we're gonna need of course is the firmware now we're gonna go ahead and go to a browser here and we're gonna go to this website which i will link you guys in the description below we're gonna type in our device here which is my device is sm g950 fd mine's the dual sim model now choose the csc or the region model that is uh is your current firmware here or your current country Mine is Indonesia, we're gonna go to scroll here to Asia, and Indonesia here, XID. We're gonna go ahead and scroll down here, you can see here, this is all the Android 9 One UI 1.0 firmware here. You're gonna scroll down here, number two, and there we go, that's the last uh, version here, of which is uh, on Oreo. You guys can download using your Google Drive, and we will get fast download speeds. Now the tools that we're gonna use, which is the same tools that we're gonna use, one the S7 video is Classy Kitchen. So big thank you to Android DSF once again for making this tool possible. Classy Kitchen is very, very amazing, all right? So we're gonna scroll here and we're gonna click on this one, latest free version here, which is this one. Go and download that one, I already have mine downloaded. And then we're gonna go ahead and go to Twitterpool, which is gonna be our custom recovery here. So we're gonna devices here, go ahead and type in Galaxy. S8, and then we're gonna click on this one, which is my current is the Exynos Dream LTE. All right, we're gonna scroll down here, uh, primarily links, and we're gonna download the latest one here, but not the IMG file. We're gonna download the Tata file because we're gonna flash it with Odin, which I'll fill also link in the description down below. All right, guys. So the next thing that you're gonna do is extract your classic kitchen uh, zip file, and then it will come in, the, in all these files. Then just copy your some FW ROM here to this classic kitchen folder. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and quickly extract that uh, zip file. So it showed up all the files, so here. All right, so here we are at our classic kitchen program here. Now we're gonna go ahead and click on create new project and we're gonna go ahead and click on our extracted one here. And then now we're just gonna hit on control A so it will select all the files and hit on open. The ROM is extracted now. We're gonna go ahead and hit this arrow here and go to ROM utilities. First step, we're gonna click on disable RMM state. All right, let's remove. And now we're gonna hit on DODEX ROM. Hit on yes. All right, DODEX process complete. And now we're gonna click on deep load ROM. And we're gonna click on kitchenless built in. Deep load is finished. Now we're gonna click on clean all CSC, OMC, ODM, APKs. And here we're gonna hit the most important thing on Samsung ROM the Nox ROM here. Okay, now we'll click on add build prompt tweaks, add busy box as well. Now we're gonna click on this arrow again here, kernel utilities, all right? And then we're gonna hit on DM Verity removed. And then we'll click on patch boot EMG to see to support Theodex Oreo because we are using 8.0 Oreo, of course. Now click on meta, meta ENF utilities and hit on rebuild meta IMF installer, all right? What are we gonna do? We're gonna hit on remove and name it as a audio. Okay, that's it ladies and gentlemen. We are finished cooking the ROM. And now we're gonna hit on the last thing, which is 
build system new dot rom for recovery hit on zip on the rom and just you know put the name again the rom and wait for the process to finish okay guys so you can see here the rom is finished creating took a couple of like maybe 10 15 minutes now the file is gonna be in here the classic kitchen extracted folder and it's on the output folder right so here it is SA audio 2024 okay we here we have our galaxy s8 which again here is i have to be um unlock on so let me actually restart the phone here let's restart the phone we're gonna plug in our USB C cable to the to the phone here to the computer and we're gonna copy that ROM here which is right SA Corio just copy that to your SD card to the phone SD card here we'll go ahead and turn off the phone here power off okay and now we're gonna hit on power and volume down and the big speed button together at the same time right power volume down big speed hit them all together at the same time bam go to download mode here hit volume up there we go you can see the current binary samsung official frp log um unlock off all right now we're gonna go ahead and open up our odin file here which again i will link in the description down below see there uh, our id com tab is blue which because i always already installed our samsung drivers here which you have a problem you installing the samsung drivers just download the samsung keys program itself it will install the samsung drivers also and should work which is what i do right now this is the file here 3.7 dream lte hit on open and hit on start all right recovery bam and then we're gonna go ahead and press this volume down slash power key restart phone and then once it goes away we're gonna hit on the power volume up and the big speed button right so volume down power key for more than seven seconds to restart the phone boom and then immediately power volume up big b let go of the power button and keep holding volume up and the big speed button here all right should be with the tutorial report. there you go 3.7.0 we're gonna hit on wipe format data and type on yes yes hit on the mark you can see here we got all these red lines at the moment we're gonna that's why we have to format the data okay now we're gonna go back reboot and back to recovery Okay, back to team win again now we're going to wipe again advanced wipe delphic cache system data internal storage all right just wipe all of these five things all right yeah okay, swipe to wipe again here make sure it's clean 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 like a new phone all right now you're going to click on install you can see there our internal storage is now empty go to our sd card and then let's see our road what is it there you go sa audio 2024 zip and flash with Twerpo. You can see there, repair device partition, patching system image. All right, as you can see there, script succeeded, done, successful. And now, when I hit on wipe cache and Delphic, let's like my usual uh, routines after installing custom ROM. And then when I hit on reboot system. And there we go. Let's see. Did our magic with Classic Kitchen works by downloading this phone from Android 9 One UI to back to there we go it's booting Android 8 Samsung Experience 9 or 8 Apple guy we'll check on later on there we go Memuli Android and BAM ladies and gentlemen here we are arrived on the setup screen of Android 8 on the Galaxy S8 alright so let me change up the language here you can see the user interface and everything is already changed oh man i'm so happy man and there we go all done your phone ready to use and ladies and gentlemen here we are android 8.0 for plus my number here the samsung galaxy s8 look at this beauty man and the phone is hot too <laughs> this is how the galaxy s8 is supposed to look look at that this just look way better man look at that old user interface software information there oh samsung experience 9 there we go android 8.0 back in the building on the samsung galaxy s8 look at all these amazing icons let's go and lock the phone here there we go look at that that nice uh infinity wallpaper that they removed man look at that let's see if the fingerprint sensor still work where is it it still works all right all right let's see here if the fingerprint sensor works all right let's now try iris scanning now we're gonna hit on this invisible home button and bam takes a while load 
my face. All right, let's try this again here because it's, it's kind of finicky. There we go, but it works. Let's go ahead and check out that always on display. Oh, that looks so good, man. Not so, not so, not so, you know, oversized and big and everything. Let's go, okay, here. Look at it. And it follows the infinity wallpaper, too. Oh, that old user, I call it recent, man. It brings so many memories. You can see here, of course, camera is working. Let's take a picture of the Alcantara case here. Hear that, that old sound? Oh, that's much better than one UI sound. You can just, you just like a car crashing, man. <laughs> so, there we go, guys. Android 8.0 on the Samsung Galaxy S8. Back to its home sweet home. And this phone is still a bit, feel very nice, you know? I forgot to tell you guys also that this will also work with the S8 Plus, the Note 8, and like I said in the S7 video, you can try with some other Samsung phones. It will work. Let's get here and try on the S8. Best through Android 8, it will work. The Samsung Galaxy S8 with Android 8, double 8, all right? So, thank you guys for watching this video. Comment, like, subscribe, and i see you guys on the next video. Beautiful phone, nice. Peace.